Yeovil Town, 11 years ago, were promoted to the Championship after a fantastic 2-1 win that's in Brentford in the playoff final. But the happiest moment in the club history ended up being the beginning of the downfall for Yeovil Town. Over the next decade, the Glovers had been relegated four times, resulting in them dropping to the National League South at the end of last season. The demise of Yeovil Town is a very sad one, but with the takeover of Martin Hellier, things for the first time in the past 10 years are looking up once again. The good times will return. Yeovil Town are within touching distance of a return to the National League in which would be their first league title in 19 years. All they need to do is win today and they are confirmed as champions once again. Yeovil Town are on their way back and I'm all here for it. As you can see behind me, there are a load of Yeovil fans in that pub. I don't actually drink anymore, so I'm not going to go in there. But this is a huge game, bigger than that last one, because all Yeovil need actually is a draw, but a win would be fantastic. And they have won the league tonight. 1,200, maybe even more, Yeovil fans have travelled up to Gloucester to watch Choro. Verka Yeovil in watching literally the biggest picture in nearly two decades and the first league title Yeovil could win like I said in 19 years but also the last time they got promoted was when they got promoted to the championship so this game is huge and I'm heading to the ground now. So from the looks of here, it would look like I'm at a dead end, but this is actually the entrance to the ground right up there. It looks like I'm in an industrial estate, but I'm not. As you can see, the floodlights there. In a TV lot there, cool. Actually the weirdest ground I've ever been to. The entrance was just up there, they were queuing, but I'm not quite ready to go in yet. I wanted to see if I could walk around the ground. So I've just kind of come down here and, um, huh, I'm, oh, what's this? It looks like an old part of the ground over there and I'm gonna have to go and have a look at that because I love looking at old things. So I am gonna have a little one though. I may get told off. There is security and police around. Got it, somebody as well. Jesus. So I'm not going to go much further, as you can see. I'm not going to get muddy. But this, correct me if I'm wrong, you're a Gloucester fan maybe watching. Is this an old standing stand? Because that is cool. I like that. And it goes all the way up there. So if so, then there's maybe where the pitch used to be. Oh, if it wasn't muddy, I'd wander right round up there. Right, anyway, before I get in trouble, I've got to enter in there. And I'm guessing here, yeah, I don't know, I actually don't know. But yeah, in there, let's go. So before I actually head into the ground, I'll say a little bit about White Chora. We're playing their home games here. Now, first of all, they get their third of four home games this week, which is utterly mental, even if they were playing in Choro, that's mad, but they're not, they're playing here in Gloucester. They think a National League North Stadium, well, they've just got relegated, because I'm not sure which league they're going to be going into. But currently, obviously, relegated at the end of the season, technically, but they are still playing in the National League North. And, yeah, I mean, Chora were playing here. They originally ground shared with Plymouth Parkway. Plymouth Parkway haven't been able to get their games on, so then they left and went to Taunton. Then Taunton hadn't been able to get their own games on, so they couldn't get Chora on as well. So then they've gone and ground shared with Gloucester, which I'm only assuming are the closest team that have said, yeah, we'll take you on. So they're having to play their rest of their home game for this season here while waiting for their new ground to be ready, hopefully at the beginning of next season, which I'll have to go and visit. But it's a 400 mile round trip every single time the home fan has to go. And like I said, with 1,200 Yeovil fan here today, they are going to be have more fan here than obviously than Choro. So it's kind of a home game for Yeovil. I've never had that scenario where there have been more away fans than there has home fans. But like... 
if you went to all four games and you were a Truro fan, you would have had to travel, if you were lived in Truro, 1,600 mile round trip in one week to watch four games, which is the equivalent of traveling from my house all the way to Gibraltar. So that is mental. But let's get in and check out Gloucester City Stadium, which is a new ground for me, ground number 89. God, I'm getting close to that 100 mark. Let's get in there. A lovely ground is it and you wander around from all the way over to that stand all the way around here that is pretty cool i couldn't exactly come to gloucester without getting a gloucester sausage i'll get it again <laughs> Absolutely dream start for Yeovil, 1-0 at half time. They're playing calm, they're playing collective, they're playing quite reserved. They you know, pass him back and that is completely fine. They give it everything it takes just to not lose. They are 
going to be confirmed the champion today and they will do everything they can to ensure that that comes true. So let's hope the next 45 seconds is even better than that first. And I am going to be right in the thick of it, I think. I'm going to have to be. Come on. Oh, and if you are enjoying the video, subscribe down there. Make the, the video to get me to a thousand subscribers. Come on. Can't find a place to stand. I'm going to have to go all the way over here again. Jesus. I love it. I mean, when they're going to run on the pitch, why would you not? 
Yeovil are promoted to the National League and I am here for it. That Gina celebration, absolutely fantastic. Come on! Come on! Get on! And I am buzzing for Yeovil. This is unbelievable. Yeovil, their first league title in 19 years, are on the way back. <laughs> Yeovil Town did it. They are back in the National League, step five of the English Pyramid, and I am absolutely buzzing for them. So I will still be following them along next season and seeing how they get in in the next step higher. But please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and I will see you very soon. Yeovil Town are on their way back. Goodbye.